Hello everyone. Hope you guys are doing really really good. Science Visits here with Question Bank Class 7. The whole chapter is covered in this Question Bank. Please go through it. So Chapter 5 Acids, Bases and Salts. Before moving to the Question Bank, do you have a guess about what are acids, bases and salt? Let's observe the things which are found in kitchen to know about acids, bases and salt. For example, lemon. It has an acid, citric acid, tamarind, tartaric acid, vinegar, acetic acid. So these are some of the acids which you are familiar with. Next is about the bases. That's in soap. You know the base is sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. Then another base is the ammonia, which is found in glass cleaner, etc. Next is about the salt, which you are very familiar with it. That's a common salt. That's sodium chloride. That's a salt. And baking soda, which is used in baking. That is sodium hydrogen carbonate. So this is an idea about acids, bases and salt. Let's move to the question bank. Please share, like and subscribe. Here is your question. Give two examples of bases that are edible and do not harm us. Milk of magnesia and baking soda. Second question. Chemical name of quicklime, that's calcium oxide. Third, the name the most commonly used natural indicator, that's a litmus. Next, the word acid comes from the Latin word called azure. Name the color of litmus in distilled water. That's a purple color. The solution, which did not change the color of either red or blue litmus, they are known as neutral solution. Let's move to the next question. Here is your seventh question. Name any two mineral acids. Sulfuric acid. Nitric acid. Classify the following substances as acids and bases. Curd, toothpaste, raw mangoes, tamarind juice, tomato juice, soap solution. Curd, acid, toothpaste, base, raw mangoes, acid, tamarind juice, acid, tomato juice, acid, and soap solution. That's a base. Let's check out the next questions. How can you check the acidic or basic nature of every substance without testing it by using an indicator? Next is a natural indicator that turns yellow in acid and turns bright red with base. That's turmeric. Next question. Give examples of neutralization in everyday life. Treatment of acid in indigestion by antacid, that's the milk of magnesia. Treating of acidic soil by adding lime, that's calcium oxide or calcium hydroxide. Formic acid of ant bites by moist baking soda, that's the sodium hydrogen carbonate. Next question. The acids prepared that are naturally available from a plant or animals are called as organic acids. Let's move on to the next questions. Let's move on to the questions. A colorless indicator used in lab that is phenolphthalein. The acids prepared from minerals extracted from the earth's crust are called inorganic or mineral acids. Name the naturally occurring compounds that contain acids. Vinegar, citrus fruit, sour milk, grapes, tomatoes, etc. From where litmus is extracted, that's a lichen, symbiotic association of fungi and algae. What is the nature of water? It's neutral, as it's either acidic or basic. The acid present in cell, which controls every feature of the body, that is the deoxyribonucleic acid. So let's check out what is DNA. 
So let's know what is meant by DNA. DNA is a molecule that contains a genetic code of organisms and it is in each cell in the organism and it tells about what proteins to make. Let's move on to the next questions. Litmus is available in which all forms? In the form of solution or in the form of strips of paper, either blue or red. What is the chemical name of slake and lime? Calcium hydroxide. What happens when blue litmus is added to vinegar as vinegar is acid, it turns red. Apu places a liquid X in a cup. The liquid is colorless and clear. He adds two drops of another liquid Y in the cup. He noticed a color change in liquid X. What can be said about liquid X and liquid Y give reason? Liquid X is either an acid or a base. So liquid Y is an indicator. So in this indicator is a substance used to check whether it's an acidic, substance is acidic or basic. Next question. Name the chemical substance that tastes sour. That's an acid. Properties of acids. Or the characteristics of acid, it is sour in taste and it's corrosive in nature. Let's check out the next set of questions. Question number 24. Give two examples of organic acids. Lactic acid, which is found in the sour milk or milk products. Malic acid, which is found in apple. Next, acids can be classified as organic acid as well as mineral acid. Give the names of two weak acid, that's a formic acid and acetic acid. The question can be asked as strong acid or the strong acid. You can see the example, hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, etc. They are strong acids. Formic acid and acetic acid, they are the weak acids. Next, we are going to learn in detail about indicator and its coloring acid, coloring base. First indicator that the litmus, okay, that's a natural indicator. And here, litmus and china rose, they are the natural indicators, and methyl orange and philoftin, they are the synthetic indicators or artificial indicators, which is used in laboratories. And next, methyl litmus, coloring acid, red. Blue litmus will turn into red. That is a coloring acid. Coloring base, red litmus turns into blue. So, coloring base, the color is blue. Next is methyl orange, that is red in acid and yellow in base. Phenophthalene, colorless in acid and pink in base. China rose, dark pink or machanda in acid, color in base, that's green. Let's check out next set of questions. Which base is fountain? Winter cleaner. Ammonium hydroxide. What is the chemical nature of a compound that turns blue litmus red? That is acidic. The reaction of acid and a base to form salt and water is called neutralization reaction. Name the acid present in the sting of an ant. That's a formic acid. The acid present in our stomach, which helps in digestion of food. Hydrochloric acid, which is strong acid. Name any two acids present in citrus fruits, citric acid and ascorbic acid. Let's move on to the next type of interesting questions. Where is lactic acid found? It's found in sour milk products. Next question. Is distilled water acidic, basic or neutral? It is neutral as it is neither acidic or basic. Let's check out another question. Here, P, Q, R, they are the substance. So let's check out whether it's soapy, bitter, or it is sour. First is P, that is not soapy, it's not bitter, and it is sour. What it can be? Any guess? Think about it. Next, Q, another substance. Is it soapy? Yes. Is it bitter? Yes. Is it sour? No, I can't guess it. Next question. R, that's also another substance. So here three substances are the P, Q, R. Difference in nature. 
Is it soapy? No. Is it bitter? No. Is it sour? No. So what it can be? Guess about answers. Let's check out. Here's the answer. Substance. First one, that's a P. That's it. Acid. So acid is sour in taste. Next is base. That is soapy as well as bitter. Next is the neutral. So it's not soapy. It's not bitter. It's not sour. That's why it is neutral. Let's check out next questions. Products of neutralization for reaction are always salt and water. Next is ammonia is found in many household products such as window cleaners. It turns red litmus blue. So what is its nature? Base turn red litmus blue. So nature of ammonia is basic. Next question. Calamine lotion is applied on skin when ant bites. It's because calamine consists of zinc carbonate that which is basic in nature. So it neutralizes the effect of formic acid. What is neutralization? It's very important. It's a reaction between an acid and a base in which salt and water are produced with the evolution of heat or with the production of heat. That's called neutralization. Let's check out next important question. Write a word equation for neutralization reaction. That is acid plus base, that's a reactants. It forms salt plus water, that are the products. Heat is evolved. Heat is produced. So next is about the equation. Hydrochloric acid, that is H hydrogen, Cl chlorine, plus sodium hydroxide, that's NaOH. Na is sodium. And OH is hydroxide, gives sodium chloride, that's a common salt, that's NaCl, sodium chlorine Cl, plus water, that is H2O, so in a, as an equation, HCl plus NaOH gives NaCl plus H2O, so hydrochloric acid plus Sodium hydroxide gives sodium chloride plus water. Next question. Sodium bicarbonate is commonly called baking soda and it's also called sodium hydrogen carbonate. Next is when the soil is too acidic, it is treated with bases like quicklime. That's a common name of quicklime. That's calcium oxide or slaked lime. Common name of slaked lime is calcium hydroxide. Let's move on to the next set of questions. When the soil is basic, what to do? Organic matter is added to release acid so that to neutralize the basic nature of the soil. Next question. What changes does colorless phenolphthalein undergo in acidic, basic and neutral solutions? It remains Colorless in acidic and neutral solutions and it turns pink in basic solution. Next is name of bases found in soap. Sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. Next question. Name of acid found in vinegar. That's acid acid. Next, a substance Y contains oxalic acid. What is Y? It's spinach. Name the base used in making antacid. That's magnesium hydroxide. Name any three natural indicators. Turmeric, china rose, red cabbage, etc. Yeah, this question in the box is very, very important. Are you familiar with the term acid rain? Have you ever heard about damaging effect of acid rain? As the name indicates, a rain containing excess of acid is called an acid rain. So what's an acid rain? It's a rain containing excess of acid. So what are these acids? And where do these acids come from? Let's check out. The rain becomes acidic because carbon dioxide, 
sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide which are released into the air as pollutants. So what happens? It gets dissolved in brain drops to form carbonic acid, sulfuric acid and nitric acid respectively. And this acid rain can cause damage to buildings, historical monuments, plants and animals. So the questions, effects of acid rain. As acid rain damages buildings and historical monuments, acid rain causes damage to plants and animals, acid rain removes basic nutrients such as calcium from the soil. Let's move on to the next set of questions. Name two gaseous pollutants which are responsible for acid rain nitrogen dioxide and sulfur dioxide. Right? Two basic substances which we use in our daily life baking soda, soap, or detergent. Name one acid which is responsible for acid rain carbonic acid. Let's move on to the next question. Name the acids present in tomato, citric acid and oxalic acid. Ascorbic acid is also present in tomato, but these are present in larger amounts. Next is why does a turmeric stain on white shirt turn to red when it is washed with soap? It's because the soap solution is basic in nature. You can try this by doing an activity of making greeting card. Next question. How lime water is prepared in laboratory? Lime water is obtained when quick lime, that is calcium oxide, is dissolved in water. So when calcium oxide dissolves in water, it produces calcium hydroxide, which is a white powder and the resulting solution of calcium hydroxide in water is filtered. So that is the lime water. And you know, when you blow on it into the lime water, it turns milky. Thank you, dear science with viewers. If you want to add more questions, please post in comment box. Please share, like and subscribe.